Okay, we hear it all the time. You should put all your devices down and away about an hour before bedtime. But let's be honest, most of us fall asleep watching, you know, videos, checking, you know, scrolling and seeing what everyone's up to. Right. And then we intended to go to bed at like nine or 10 right. and then it ends up being one or two o'clock right. in the morning. And mm -hmm. then it's difficult for you to get a good night's rest when you're trying to catch a few extra Z's. Mm -hmm. So we've got Chad Hackman from AT&T joining us now to walk us through some tech tips yeah. that will actually help us to get to some extra sleep. Chad, I think a lot of us would say, oh, it's one of those um, just sounds too good to be true, right? right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I don't want to be the bad guy, but yeah, you definitely want to put your phone down and, uh, you know, it, it'll definitely help you get some sleep. I know you mentioned like that it's darker earlier and it's, it's darker late, you know, when we were first wake up and, you know, just getting that extra sleep and putting your phone down can go a long way. Mm. Okay, so walk us through some steps to help us out with this because it is hard to do this. And, you know, in daylight saving time, it's been very rough. So what are some tips that you have for us? Yeah, like with our partners from Sleep Charge, I mean, they, they tell us like we, you know, when you're, you know, first off, make sure your room's completely dark. So when, uh, when you get up in the morning, then expose yourself to light. So make sure you have it, you know, completely dark in the room, easier said than done sometimes, depending on what's going on. But then also get that natural light going. It's, it's, uh, it can go, go a long way. Um, you can also use your, your Alexa you know your Alexa, Google Home, you know any of those tablets. They can they can also help you with that if you if you want to get you know take a little walk on the uh, technology side. They can help you with some other little you know smart smart items, smart things that are out there for yourself. So, and then lastly, you know your phones have the nighttime mode or they have the do not disturb mode. And so, I love personally using the do not disturb mode because once I'm once I'm kind of unplugged, it goes a long way just to kind of keeping my phone down and, and relaxing as I as I kind of wind down. But that last hour right before you go to bed is a is a big deal before you before you wind down and it, and it goes a long way. Chad, are there any things when it comes to our tech that will help us to stay on track mm -hmm. or maybe um, anything that would track some of our sleep habits? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, sure. We have a, a you know, different things that help, you know, with the sleep habits. Um, first off, we have the, um, you know, these, this creative sleep, sleep sanctuary as far as overall. And that's, you know, and that's, and that's a great thing. But when we get, when we get down to the habits itself, um, sorry, I wanted to kind of move down to, you got your, yeah, so you have your calm, your headspace, you have your different things as far as overall. And the relaxed meditation, it's a good, it's a good way to, to go about it, you know, to go through it. Yeah, there are some meditation sites, and I was just thinking some very soothing music. Maybe you could pull up on your sure. phone or your computer. Okay, you talked about uh, how important exercise is and helps us feel more tired, but sometimes it is hard to turn the brain off, especially if your phone is with you. Um, any extra advice there? Yeah, look, look exercise is great. I and I, I've been kind of one who's changed my habits a little bit in the last year as far as overall exercise. It, exercise goes a long way, gives you, you know, that extra energy. And and um, I know you talked about getting, you know, getting out there, but that's that's a great way to, to go about it. And there's different apps. Like you have your Nike training app, your your Strava, your MyFitnessPal. I, I like, a, you know, in, in the Jeff app. And there's different apps. And there's others if you go to the at t stores that they might even recommend. But there's so many different apps that can kind of get you over the edge and kind of keep you motivated motivated to keep, you know, keep exercising. And uh, mm -hmm. Chad, what about any advice for parents out there to um, maybe help their kids yeah. adjust to this a little bit better? Uh, yeah, uh, the, the parents thing, you know, it's it's tough, right? Like, because you're always kind of looking over your shoulder. But uh, um, there's all, you know, there's different safety apps as far as in your in your different devices that you have, you know, whether it's your tablets, your iPads that, that really help, you know, make it a better way, you know, and, and kind of makes you relax a little bit. It's, you know, the family schedule, you know, just making sure we you could get, you know, get that piece. But like at t Screen Ready offers that parental control that guides, the, you know, for parenting for, you know, just makes you the expert, right? And so when you have those pieces, it's, it's going to go a long way. Yeah. Well, this is great advice some it great reminders, mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll all sleep a little easier now that you shared them with us. Yeah, we don't turn down extra, extra hours of sleep, do we? No, not <laughs> right. at all. Chad, great yeah. talking with you.